Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say that Megona Megona is not sincere when it comes to whatever is happening. I want to remind you, Kenyans, when Megona Megona was deported from Kenya to Canada, it was very clear and he claimed that it was not in accordance to the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. For him to be deported from Kenya to Canada when he was born in the Republic of Kenya. After that, when Meguna Meguna returned back to Kenya before he went back again to Canada, as you know that Meguna is not currently in the country, he's in Canada. I saw a tweet where Meguna was complaining about his cases that was withdrawn and was cleared. And he, thrown a, he throws a heavy words towards that judge that came out to clear and remove the cases of Meguna Mugumna, where he was claiming that those who deported him not in accordance to the constitution of the Republic of Kenya to re repay, uh, uh, to, 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 of course, repay him. Little did we know that when it comes to these cases of these Kenya Kwanzaa allies that are being dropped and cleared, now Meguna Meguna is coming out saying that it is right for the cases of close allies of William Ruto to be cleared and removed from, from the court. Himself, he's saying it is bad for his case to be cleared and to be dropped. Maybe his case is different from the cases of the close allies of William Ruto. Because Meguna Meguna was claiming he, want, he wanted to be refunded for being deported not in accordance to the law. But on the other side, close allies of William Ruto, they were accused with certain allegations. Some corruption, some murder, some rape cases. Then after their cases has already been dropped and cleared, Meguna came out saying and praising those judges that dropped, dropped uh, and cleared the cases of these close allies of William Ruto. On his side, his case that was cleared and dropped by the judge, now, in according to his high education, the way I'm seeing Meguna is being praised that he's well educated. Now, that people are saying that Meguna, yes, is understanding about the constitution, but I want to ask Meguna a simple question. Meguna, Meguna, when it comes to your cases being dropped and cleared about the deportation that you were deported from Kenya to Canada, now, you wanted to be refunded. The court saw like your case was not uh, having base. It was baseless, no evidence, and was dropped and cleared. On your side, you're feeling bad. Destroying the name of that judge that removed the cases. Marao, that judge could have not dropped almost about four cases or six cases. What about these judges? that are clearing these so close allies of William Ruto, Mike Mubisonko, Aisha Juma, Mentuka Lumturi, and all other people. Ladies and gentlemen, which kind of the law uh, are Meguna Meguna using to refer uh, to these cases? Because literally, I'm so worried. I'm so worried, ladies and gentlemen. Meguna Meguna is confusing Kenyans. And in, in fact, He's confusing his followers and confusing this government. Because on the inside, he is feeling it is not good for his cases to be dropped. But on the other side, it is good that the cases of the close allies of William Ruto to be dropped. Because he is claiming that it is baseless, no evidence, and does not meet the constitutional threshold to be in the court. Then it means the way that judge that dropped his case 
uh, demanding a, refu uh, a refunding fee to those who, who deported him, not in accordance to the law, that said that he, his case was not having uh, evidence and was baseless, baseless and was not having a threshold in accordance with the Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, then, ladies and gentlemen, it is very clear that Miguna Miguna is not understanding something very clear. That on your side, you want law to prevail. Then on the other side, you don't want law to prevail. Then which kind of a country are we today? And that is why I always say, and I shall continue saying, that we are living under a corrupt country where the government executive has captured the judiciary, has captured the parliament, has captured the police, has captured the IEBC, has captured the DCI, has captured the EACC, has captured the DPP. All the institutions that are expected to be independent, ladies and gentlemen. We are being told that now they are independent when they are favoring those who are close to the government. Which country are we? I remember there was a certain vice president of a certain country in Africa that was accused and charged. He was charged. Some of them are being even jailed. Which kind of country are we today? We were expecting that the democracy and justice of the Republic of Kenya is on a high level. Today is being rated as a, a country that now it is based on interfering with these such core institutions that are required to be independent in accordance to the constitution of the Republic of Kenya. Those are certain issues and certain scenarios that, ladies and gentlemen, is making me uh, to have a lot of panic. Because in the future, as we continue with the kind of life that we are today, it means that then there will be no justice, there will be no democracy. And that is the direction that we are going. So don't be surprised because this is whatever is going to happen. And don't be shocked because it is literally whatever is happening. So that is why, ladies and gentlemen, Miguna Miguna is confusing people with this tweet. Day in, day out. Every minute, every hour, every minute. We are confused with the, the tweet of Miguna Miguna. Ladies and gentlemen, do you support Miguna Miguna? Rubbishing. That judge that cleared his case because his case was baseless. Then on the other side, he, he is praising those judges that cleared the cases of so-called close allies of William Ruto. What are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to think, thank you so much because you great support, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a visitor for the first time and you have not subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Bye-bye till you meet on another video.